Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Train Simulator. We are here once again in South Wales, at Cardiff Central, and this time we are driving the Class 158. Class 158. So we are going to Newport, and then we're heading off towards Caldecott. Uh, let's see what the assignment says. Yeah, 7 Tom Junction and then Caldecott. So, first things first of course, is let people on. Now this, of course, is kind of central platform zero. Not many stations have a platform zero, but if you have a platform one and you have <laughs> you add an extra, yeah, if you've got a platform one and you add an extra platform, then it's got to be zero. It's got to be zero. So let's go in and get things sorted. Acknowledge that. Let's not release the brakes all the way, we'll just keep it on step one. Uh, so yes, now I happen to have this this train in a different DLC as well. Of course this one's the well, thank you. This one of course is the Areva Trains Wales one. got pretty good acceleration on it, look. That is indeed pretty good. Bing, that's very nice. Oh, we've got lights on. Sweet. Well, that will do it. That'll work. That'll work. So we can come over here and have a look. There's absolutely nothing here. <laughs> we'll start speeding in a second. We don't look at that. Obviously green lights, that's lovely. R. Don't know quite what R actually means in terms of uh, which direction we'd be going. But still. Is there any trouble with, uh, with most routes? Oh, we're we'll actually going all the way across. Oh, I see. That is interesting. <laughs> That's probably what that meant then. <laughs> Look at that, it's timed very well to have a, a train just nipping across there. Oh yes, let's not break too much now. Little bit of throttle, there we go. So yes, we're driving one of these things. Fairly common sight, really. Certainly on the... On the uh, the long distance Welsh routes. Oh, really? I'm speeding again. Why is it 15 miles an hour along here anyway? Why is it 15 miles an hour? 40? 40 from like the station down here, yes, definitely. Oh, anyway. Yeah, I don't care now. Let me just put the power on, please. <laughs> it's another green light. Lovely. There's a red light on that side, so... Is something else going that way, just ahead of us? Or parked or something? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll catch up with it. Maybe we won't. But we shall see. Um, yes, that's the kind of the trouble with this route. It's here to Bristol, essentially. I would have quite liked to see more um, more valley lines. I would quite like to see more of the valley lines done, but pretty much the only thing you've got there is uh, Ninian Park, um, Cardiff Bay, and Cardiff Queen Street. You know, it's uh, there's not that much of it at all, really. Slightly disappointing. I mean, this is a good place for for people to extend the route, of course, because certainly the area around Cardiff Central is def it, it's definitely the most complicated bit of the route. Of course, it's nice to have a, a particular. 
you know, a, a fixed point to start at, so to speak. This thing cruises very well indeed. You really don't have to put any power on at all. So, the trouble is, are we going to be on this side for the whole way? Is it going to be 40 miles an hour the whole way? Because that's going to take ages. It will, it'll take ages. I mean, I've got no throttle on now, and we're still coasting very nicely at pretty much 40. I mean, it looks as if we're speeding there, but we are doing a decent sort of speed down there. Uh, yeah, so I'm familiar with all these buttons. <laughs> I have driven this type of train before. Not in real life, of course. Not in real life, but... Uh, do you need to put some power on that? Were we going downhill earlier? I think we must have been. We must have been. Let's have a quick look outside. Yep. I mean, it's a fairly decent looking train, really. They're fairly old now, of course, but then trains usually are. I mean, British trains? <laughs> um, yeah, we haven't really had any new ones for 20 odd years. Oh, is that supposed to be a greenhouse? Hmm. Strange. Strange. Anyway, um, it'll probably take us a little while now to actually reach Newport. Um, 15 minutes by our ETA there, which is slightly less than less than we should be. It's only 10 miles away. It's only 10 miles away, so why should it take 15 minutes? Well, if we're restricted to 40 miles an hour, of course it will. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I guess I'll see you there in about 15 minutes. So it would seem we're not too far out. We're not too far out now. We're uh, we're just about to change lanes. Uh, thanks to the signal up there for giving us advance warning of that. So we drop down to 40. Presumably it's going to be here. Uh, yes, yes it is. Nice. So, yeah, we passed quite a few trains on the way. And uh, I've, I've been sat here just listening to the sounds. Because the sounds are quite good, actually. Um, yeah, what's the horn like? Yeah, quite good. It fades away afterwards nicely as well. That's where some, that's where some horns tend to fail, is that they don't, they don't fade away afterwards. They just they just stop. Um, so yes, 75 now, are we? Well, there's 60 further up. So yes, I've also discovered there appears to be um, there appears to be gears on this that it goes through automatically. It's just like I was holding it about four, 
Yeah, earlier, holding it about four, maintaining the speed. But then, once you were doing about 60 miles an hour, you know, four would accelerate you really quite fast. So we just wait till the gear changes. Where's the gear going to change? Oh, there we go. That's the gear change. We've got to slow down now anyway. <laughs> but yeah, gear seems to change about 43, 44. Into the tunnel, and we can at least see things this time. Because the headlights on this seem to be quite good. Which helps quite a lot. Anyway, we've got Newport, which we're coming in a few seconds late, so that's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. So it'll be 30, and then it'll be 25 straight afterwards. I want to keep as much of this speed as possible. We're now early-ish. So thank you. We've got to slow down, because we need to hit 25. <laughs> Yeah, presumably it's this. Oh, wrong bloody way. Wrong way. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Press the wrong button and accidentally put the brakes on full. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Here we are at the station. Let's look out this side and make sure that we can we can see the platform and see what's going on. Excuse me, guys, train coming in. There's a red light up there, so we need to be ready for that. There we are. Because we're not in the cab, so we don't actually know. Well, there's a stopping position for three, so I guess we'll stop about here. Wow, look at this dodgy guy. <laughs> so open the doors. Sweet. Sweet. So let's have a look at the timetable. That's fine. We should be leaving about now. Um, 15.13 and then 15.21. So, okay, yeah, we've got another half hour to go yet. <laughs> Yeah, you always forget just how far it is from Newport to the Seven Tunnel Junction. So there's a lot of track between here and there. It's a long way to go. So where's the actual thing? Can we... Oh, there we go. Ten miles. What about the next one, then? See, that's about ten miles as well. Right, fine, 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 fine. So that's the door closed. And let's go, because we now have a yellow light. You should always check before you actually start moving. So the U is presumably the up line. But it's a single yellow, so we've got to be careful. Although, to be fair, our next signal is quite a long way away. So 20 miles an hour here. We're doing fine, there's a freight train coming through. Just listen to that. Okay, so it's back to 30 again, but it'll be 40 in a moment. But it's just going to be 20 again in a minute, so it's not all that much point. <laughs> not really. Oh, we're going back on the relief line. Oh, are we really? Oh, that's just great. That's just great. Full service? No, that's a bit too much. <laughs> So we're actually going this way, okay, that's fine. 
as I've said before, I'm sure, uh, I don't really care about the points because you don't turn them in for anything. Um, no, not really. You don't turn them in for any kind of skill points. You don't unlock anything with them. They're just there as a high score, really. It's not really experience. But anyway, so we've got another crossover coming up now. I really wish they'd make their mind up what which track I'm supposed to be on. And why can't I be in the fast lane? Again, why can't I be on the fast tracks? No, 15? You didn't say 15, you said 20. Come on. So yeah, why can't I be on the fast tracks? This thing will do that sort of speed easy. Easy. You see, notch one on here will accelerate us. So anyway, that's 40 now. Let's get up to 40 as quickly as possible. So our ETA is looking good. It's 12, 12 seconds early, but I would like a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a buffer than that. A little bit more would be nice. Okay, so yes, we're at 40 miles an hour. Three is good enough. Pretty four, see what that does, but it doesn't mean it's not speeding us up. No, it our speed is definitely coming down, but fairly slowly. So we'll leave it at that for now. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in <laughs> in more or less 16 minutes at uh, Seven Tonne Junction. Okay then, we're about a mile away now. Um, I mean, 40 miles an hour is not really that fast. <laughs> so we don't have to start slowing down just yet, although there is a bit of a deviation sign on that, so maybe we should. Maybe we should. This is platform 2, so yes, we're going to sort of head over to the right, because we're not going down uh, towards the 7 tunnel. Junk, the, the seven tunnel. Uh, yeah, we're going off to Colicott, which is off to the right and then sort of goes over the top and off towards Chump and Mount Gloucester of course so yeah here we go it's a nice high speed transition so uh, which is good because we weren't given any warning of it <laughs> apart from on the signal of course so Yeah, we're looking pretty good on time. Nice uh, two minutes early. So we certainly made it back. 
we certainly made that time back a bit. <laughs> so what's that? Oh, that's a container drain. Interesting that that's there. Why is it stopped? Why is it not heading through the through the tunnel? You're in the way there a bit, mate. Now, one thing I have noticed is there's a bit of a... Once I get my mouse working again. There's a bit of a glitch up here, as you can see. The uh, stuff close to us renders perfectly fine, but it's like the, the skybox doesn't. The skybox doesn't render up here for some reason. Don't know why. It's only that little square. Maybe there's like a sticker on it or something that that doesn't. Oh dear. <laughs> I was looking up here too much to actually notice that we were supposed to be stopping. Oh dear. Well, it's got fairly good brakes. It has got fairly good brakes, so that's fine. Ah, so yes. We'll have a little look at this when we from the outside and we'll see but yeah you can see the foreground objects are fine the clouds render fine and obviously the whatever overlay is on the window here is fine but it's as if there's like a sticker on the window which means that it doesn't there's no sticker on the window but it it's like there's something there which doesn't um, It just doesn't render the skybox behind it. Which is strange. It's really strange. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be here for a while. Why is this sky still here? It's a green light. Maybe we're here ridiculously early and he's not actually programmed to move yet. Hmm, that might be interesting. But there's someone coming in from over here. I wonder if he's time to pull in just as we do. At least just as we're supposed to. Should we go over and have a look? I think so. We've still got a couple of minutes to wait here. Let's go and have a look. Is he coming this way or has he held at a signal? So yes, this is Caldecott. Ah oh yes, it's the 143. It's the 143. We'll be driving them next time. <laughs> Oh dear, now these are the kind of trains which go past my house. Yes. Hello, I recognise you guys. That pieces of crap. They really are. <laughs> They're noisy. The suspension's terrible. Ugh. And they're always bloody full. But then, what train in Britain isn't? So yes, he's waiting there at Caldicott. So we haven't got that far to go now. We're nearly finished. Once um, once we get clearance to leave, it should be any time now. I see, it's, over, it's over there as well, look. That little error. It's strange, isn't it? <laughs> can't see it from here. Yeah, it's weird. Oh well, we know it's there. Doesn't really affect us. There we go. So we are going to get there ridiculously early. I mean, this is when we we're supposed to leave. We we're supposed to get there at 15.21. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's only going to take us two minutes at most to reach there. It's only half a mile away. Why do you think it'll take us six or seven minutes to get there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's down to whoever programmed this, this scenario. <laughs> I mean, we can't really get much much speed up before we get there, can we? Oh, is that thing actually moving now? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's obviously programmed to wait there until uh, 
until a particular time so we meet it on the way like this. Oh funny. We won't need any more power. It's a fairly short platform so I'll have to get the stopping right. And not get distracted by that that uh, black square in the corner. <laughs> Apply just a little bit of brakes. That's lovely. A little bit more as we start to pull in. So yes, it's funny here because there's no bridge or or like subway. People crossing have just got to use this thing. They just got to take their life into their hands and just cross cross when it's safe. <laughs> there's a few stations like that. I really wish we could like these were better quality. I really wish you could actually sort of read read them but anyway you just walk through me well, look, we're a bit dirty aren't we <laughs> uh, I wonder if this game's ever going to be like farming simulation and have trains which actually get dirty and need cleaning oh dear Anyway, yes, it would be interesting to see. Interesting to see what uh, the future holds for train sim. Anyway, yes, uh, we are done. We are done, thankfully. That looks like a very interesting route. Might have to look at that. Right, so... What was that one? I'm going to have to open a... So, timeliness, speeding, 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 speeding. Drive quality, yeah, we know. Timeliness, speeding, 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 timeliness... At least we arrived everywhere on time. That does help. So, got achieved for that, achieved for that. ATW full pack. Hmm. Yeah, let's have a quick look at the... Oh, God, yeah, of course, it's like 800-odd. Three-quarters mark. Order for drawing 158... No, it isn't there. After Cheltenham Spa, of course, a score of 750 points, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> There's just so many achievements in this game, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, anyway, we did fairly well on that. We got the silver star, at least. Not quite gold, but yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. I mean, we did speed and accidentally apply emergency brakes once. So yes, um, join me next time where we play um, some other some other ones from this this pack it will be that, that's the one we just played it'll be this one here which is a really really short one actually that is really incredibly short so yeah it's a short episode next time <laughs> thankfully so uh, yeah join me next time when we do that I'll see you guys later remember to like comment and subscribe goodbye